Welcome to another Social Sunday um, with the Milton Artist Guild. In your kit today is going to come a board that has um, an outline and nails in it, a plain board, some nails, and assorted yarn pieces. What you will also need is a pair of scissors, um, the some smaller pliers, and a hammer. The first thing that you're going to be doing is, usually, if you were starting from scratch, is to take one of the papers and you will have put a design on it. And for those who are starting with the plain board, you can use any design you want, but don't make it really intricate. The, um, the yarn is what will make it more intricate. So have a basic design. And what I then am doing is Taking some of the little nails, picking them up with my pliers so that they hold it. And when I nail, I'm going to nail the top of the nail and not my fingers. This is a good thing, if you can, to do outside because it's going to take some pounding and it's going to be um, easier to do that on a picnic table or something outside as opposed to on a fancy table inside. Getting a feel as to how it's done. Sometimes I, yes, I'm likely to do one in the middle and then to fill in one on each side. Because we know this takes some time and some skill, we have supplied one already nailed and ready to go um, in your kit. When we're ready to yarn this one, I'll pull off the white sheet of paper and um, then we will start yarning. But I think I'm going to finish nailing this one first. When you take things out of the kit, some of the nails may have um, gone sideways. So if you could just take a pair of pliers and straighten them out. Also, if you are nailing your own, it's sometimes hard to get all of them um, nicely straight to begin with. Um, sometimes the nails fall out and you have to put a new one in. So there's a little bit of fixing up work that gets done. stage is to actually pull the paper off of the nails. It doesn't come smoothly, you've got to tug a little bit, but it's good to see the design before, um, well, when you take the paper off that you can still see it in the nails. Then we tie a bit to a lower nail, tie it around the nail, double knotting it. The first work that you're going to be doing with the yarn is to go all the way, all the way around the outside. That's to give it a boundary. Sometimes the nails are not going in a direction that lets it go smoothly, so you go around a nail all the way around to kind of hook it into place. As you can see, sometimes it jumps back off and you get to patiently do it again, pushing the yarn down toward the board when possible. Once you've gotten back to your original area, 
You can then begin to go from any nail to any nail, depending on the design that you like. Whether it's horizontal, vertical, diagonal, depending on the color of the yarn you use and how you would like to um, make it look, the design is all up to you. If you don't like something, you can take it out and rework it. As you notice, I kind of push the yarn down toward the wood to just give it a little bit of um, spacing. We keep adding the string in different directions. And this clip has been um, shortened a bit because it does take a few minutes to be able to do this. Um, Kathleen is doing hers tightly around the edge. She is doing the state of Vermont and it has lots of ins and outs of curls. So um, she is being um, carefully making sure that boundary line is clear. That was an original design by Kathleen, and then she has a heart that she has placed um, where Milton is on the map. On this one, I'm putting in the clouds, which I found um, a bit more challenging because they were smaller entities. And um, I tied it first, then went back and forth and came and retied it to the same original knot. After making sure that's a double knot and it's really tight, then you can cut off the ends. Kathleen is now stringing the whole state, going vertical, to begin with, no, horizontal to begin with. And now she's finishing up, knotting down at the bottom to make sure that the knots are tight. As you can see, we did this outside and the shadows from the trees are, are adding an extra dynamic area, um, dynamic feel to the state of Vermont. We hope you have enjoyed this session of the um, Milton Artists Guild Social Sundays and that you will either um, enjoy making the house that's already somewhat prepared or find your own design. These are the two we finished, and we're smiling on a nice, lovely day. Thank you.